Our first guest, His Excellency Jose Luis Martinez Fernandez, is the Mexican ambassador to the Republic of Turkey since 2019, concurrent in Georgia, Kazakhstan, and Turkmenistan. He has studies at the bachelor level in economics from the National Autonomous University of Mexico and third cycle doctor studies in economics from the School of Higher Studies in Social Sciences in Paris, France. During his time at the Minister of Foreign Relations, he has been ambassador of Mexico in Hungary, concurrent with Croatia and Bulgaria. Council General of Mexico in Berlin, General Director of Protocol and General Director of Educational and Cultural Cooperation in Mexican Agency for International Cooperation for Development, among other posts. He has also worked promoting Mexican culture abroad. In the cultural sector, he has worked as General Director of International Affairs, Technical Secretary of the National Council for Culture and the Arts, General Director of the Fund for Culture and the Arts, and General Director of International Affairs of the National Council for Culture and the Arts and the Ministry of the Culture. The floor is yours, His Excellency. Thank you very much. Good morning. It's okay. is, uh, the audio is okay with you? Yes? Yes. Yes. Uh, first of all, I would like to salute Professor Dr. Abdullah Atala, Rector of Bilken University, and thank you for in this invitation and also salute my, my colleagues, different um, my colleagues ambassadors and the different members of the faculty, faculties of Bilken University. And uh, I would like to talk about the ecotourism and sustainable tourism in Mexico. Uh, I have a presentation, I don't know if uh, you could uh, present it in the, put it in the screen, please. Oh, no, no, the, before, the one before, the one before. Yeah, this. And this, uh, this uh, graphic presents the, the conditions of, uh, of, the, <clears throat> of Mexico as a biodiverse country. Con, uh, country is the fifth mega mega diverse country in the world. Mexico has 35 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Seven of them are natural sites. Mexico is the seventh country with more sites in the UNESCO list of World Heritage. It has 182 protected natural areas and 19,150 19, endemic species. 535 endangered species and 44 biosphere reserve sites. Please the next, the next page. And uh, yes, and in this page, it's uh, it's represent the main uh, the main ten main touristic activities in our protected natural areas. First of all, is the observation of flora and fauna, and second is hiking, then interpretative hiking. That, that means uh, uh, hiking with uh, uh, with uh, no knowledge of the of the environment, uh, boat trips, recreational fishing, for, uh, rural photography, environmental educational workshops, kayak kayaking, mountain biking, and snorkeling. These are the the ten more active uh, the ten main uh, touristic activities in the natural protected areas. Then. Let's go to the next page. The next, uh, yes. Then this is the services offered within the protected natural areas. Areas. It's first of all food and drinks, then lodging, then guided tours, camping, boats, boat uh, trips, uh, especially in lakes and, and rivers, or in on the sea in some some places in the in the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific. Coast. Uh, uh, adventure operators, uh, ground operator transportation, diving and snorkeling, and the Mexi uh, Temascal, that it's a Mexican uh, hammam, and uh, mar marinas. These are the, the main activities in the 
the main services uh, offered within the protected natural areas. Then this next, please. The next, and this is uh, this uh, this uh, page represents the, the presents you the secret link between the nature and the worldview of the indigenous communities as an unparalleled factor for tourism promotion. Uh, I think we, we we share with a lot uh, other Latin American countries this this uh, characteristic. As you can see, we have a, a, a an interesting comparison with the, this this jaguar and the, the this uh, this figure in the terracotta that is very famous of the of the Mexican handcrafts. As you can see, there are a lot of of uh, in integration between the natural nature, nature culture and um, and tourism promotion in this, especially in, in these uh, natural protected areas. And that in the next page, please. Uh, these are the, the this page shows the two kinds of tourism. First of all, the first the unsustainable tourism, massive tourism. Uh, it means many travelers in a few places. It, it, then few owners, mostly foreigners, and three, a lot of money in few hands. This is the, the characteristic of the unsustainable tourism, that it's uh, many in our, uh, especially in the surroundings of Cancun. Visitors distributed, uh, and then the, in the, on the other side, the sustainable responsible tourism means visitors distributed according to capacity of the, of the sites many local owners, and wider distribution of income. Then the, uh, the next page, the, uh, this page uh, shows the, the, the presidential commitment number 100 uh, commitments by the president in, the first, in, the, in, in his inauguration. He said, Mexico will be reborn fulfill progress with justice and a sustainable life based on love of family, love of each other, love of nature, love of country, and love of humanity. We promote both material well-being and the well-being of the soul. This was uh, uh, presented as the presidential commitment number 97 and the inauguration of 1st of December in 2018. And then the Minister of Tourism of Mexico says, the countries that, that best preserve their environmental environment and their historical and cultural identity will fulfill, part, fully participate in the extraordinary economic boom from future tourism. It was, uh, it, this is a remark by uh, Minister of Tourism, Miguel Torruco Marquez. Then, what is Mexico re renace, uh, Mexico, no, sorry, what is Mexico renace sostenible? That's, Mexico reborn, sustainable reborn, is more or less the translation of this. It seeks to promote the strength and fulfill actions that are taking place throughout. Uh, the, sorry, the, the next page, please. I, saw, I forgot to. The next page? Yes. And what is Mexico renace sostenible? That, mean, that means Mexico reborn, sustainable reborn. It seeks to promote strength and fulfill actions that are taking place throughout the country to comply with its 17 sustainable development goals using tourism as a tool. Then we in the, in, uh, in this, the, in the next page, please. It is an explanation of this Mexico reborn, a sustainable reborn. This model is designed to integrate communities, towns and cities where the local population is the main beneficiary of tourism without having to change who they are, but can share the secret, secretness of their own biocultural processes. You can see there are these three different activities that integrate the, into the culture of the communities, the, the visitors. And the next place, please. Uh, now this is just uh, all the different uh, logos of the public and private uh, 
institutions that are, are uh, linked with this effort of the sustainable re renaissance. Then, then we are now the foundational project. The next page, please. These are the, uh, the link between the, the, the different programs uh, with the uh, uh, development, uh, the world development goals. And, and then is development goal number four, it's the growth of the Mexican Renaissance. And number four is equality education. Development, uh, sustainable tourism strategy is re related with development goal number eight, that is, is decent work and economic growth. Uh, community and sustainable tourism strategy in the Isthmus of Tehuantepec it links with the goal number 11, and not 10. That is reduce inequality. Uh, tourism and zoning program related with the uh, goal number eleven. That is sustainable cities and communities. Adaptur program is called. Is it related with the climate action? Cuxatur related with the uh, life below water. Forest tour, forest tour related with life on land, and. Uh, Chronicles and Murals of the Mexican Renaissance, related with the goal number 16, Peace and Justice, Strong, strong Institutions. And number 17, Mexico Renace Sostenible TV program, this Mexico Reborn, Sustainable Reborn, is a partnership to achieve the goal. Then we will explain the different of this, these different programs. Next page, please. Mm. Uh, this is the roads of the Mexican Renaissance, guide of the roads of Mexican Renaissance, promote hiking routes that include the experience of learning from antique cultures, history, biodiversity, and gastronomy. First road is the Moctezuma Fish Relay, relay Race. Six states, Veracruz, Puebla, Tlaxcala, Hidalgo, Estado de Mexico, and Mexico City, eight, eight magical towns, and six world heritage towns. Uh, from sea to, to sea trail, there are two states, uh, from Veracruz to Oaxaca. And the Eagle and the Serpent Trail is from Nayarit to Mexico City. These are the different uh, uh, roads or routes or roads to, of the Mexican Renaissance. Next page, please. Uh, sustainable tourism strategy is related with the goal number eight. It seeks to achieve, uh, achieve the, a tourism that is so, so socially inclusive, economically fair, and environ, er, environmentally responsible. It represents a change of model for many visitors and a few places, few and foreign owners, and a lot of money in a few hands to a tourism model that preserves nature, includes many local owners, and distributes income among many. It implemented throughout the country. It, it is implemented throughout the country. Next page, please. Uh, the next page. Yes. Empowering Sustainable Tourism Business Ventures. Second edition of Empowering Business Ventures projects to recover from the negative effects of COVID-19. Together with the impact, it supports 160 small and medium-sized business cooperatives, social enterprises, and indigenous, as a Madridan enterprises, and indigenous business ventures with 9,000 9, euros, with, with 9,000 euros. Its first edition took place in the states of Baja California, Baja Lograna Sur, Chiapas, Mexico City, Durango, Estado de Mexico, Guanajuato, Jalisco, Michoacán, Monterrey, Oaxaca, Puebla, Quitana Roma, in different states. And the next page, please. Community and Sustainable Tourism Strategy in the Isthmus of Tehuantepec. This is a very interesting place because it is the place where there is the narrowest uh, distance between the Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific Ocean. There are many uh, development projects in this area. 
implementation of the community and sustainable tourism strategy in the Isthmus of Tehuantepec with the goal of contributing to economic and social development in this region. This is related to with goal number 10, reduction of inequalities. Then next page. Sustainable tourism and development zones. Areas of the country clearly located and geographically demarcated that because of their nature and culture, natural and cultural characteristics are attractive to tourists. They will be established in, by a presidential decree as required, requested by the Ministry of Tourism. Currently being work in the states of Nayarit and Quintana Roo. Nayarit is in the Pacific coast and Quintana Roo is in the Caribbean basin. If this is related with the goal number 11. It's the goal number 11. It's the sustainable cities and communities. The next page, please. <clears throat> this is the tourism zoning program. The goal is to know and establish zoning and productive activities to achieve, achieve and order it a sustainable use of touristic resources. It is work in all these states. And it's related with the goal number 11, sustainable cities and communities. The ne next uh, page, please. Adaptur is implementation of a climate, climate change adaptable adaptation, adaptation measures in the private sector that are based on ecosystems to preserve both the natural, natural attractions and the infrastructure. Products. The products are a guide of the investment adapted to climate change and the analysis of economic risk caused by climate change in three tourist destinations in, in Mexico, San Miguel de Allende, Rivera Maya, and Rivera Nayarit. This is related with goal number 13, climate action. Next page. Next page. Cuxatur. Cuxatur. The project is named by of the Mayan Mayan Cuxa, meaning alive, and tour for tourism, meaning life tourism. Its goal is to preserve biodiversity diversity in coastal ecosystems, ecosystems throughout this design and implementation of innovative, sustainable tourism policies and models. It is implemented in the states of Baja California Sur, Oaxaca, and Quintana Roo with an investment of seven, seven 0.24 million US dollars with GEF, with Global Environmental Facility. This is the uh, largest mutual, uh, this is a trust fund that is, is going to support this project, this trust fund GEF. Next page, Forest Tour. Promotes environmental compensation mechanism for tourism business to connect developments with forestry and share landowners to create and share with landowners to create touristic routes that offer services in the different aspects of natural nature tourism, currently implemented throughout the country. This is related with num uh, goal number 15, life on land. The next page. Uh, Chronicles, Chroniclers of the Mexican Renaissance. This project will create book tours, tour book, tour guides written by chroniclers, chroniclers of touristic destinations and magical towns, which will refer, magical towns is a project uh, that started like 10 years ago and that established uh, different towns that have a, spe a special characteristic and they would call it Pueblos Magicos, magical towns. It's a very interesting project. This is for another conference, but which reflects our ancestral knowledge and values, as well as the historic and cultural identities to promote tourism throughout the written world of those people who safeguard our heritage. The first series of collected includes 72 new books printed and digital in 26 states. And this is related with goal number 16, peace and justice is strong institutions. And finally, uh, is the program, the TV program. Uh, next page, please. Mexico is uh, Mexico. There's a TV program called Mexico Renace Sostenible, Mexico Sustainable 
reborn. TV shows, TV show episodes showing the TV show. No, it's a TV program showing the implementation of the Mexican uh, Renaissance Sustainable Strategy, Mexico Renaissance Sustainable Strategy in a cheerful and dynamic way. It is focused on the destination that apply best practices and sustainability, as well as promote ancestral values of the human renaissance. The show is aimed to at Mexican and foreign tourists who are looking for more responsible and sustainable trips. This is kind of a, a, a video handbook for uh, sustainable tourism. And this is, uh, this is the, the last uh, page of the presentation, but I would like to comment that, uh, as you can see, Mexico is really uh, engaged in a, in a program or a project, program or project to uh, develop uh, sustainable and ecotourism. Uh, in, we, we, are, we know that we are we were one of the first countries we are we like Turkey. Turkey and Mexico receive more or less the same number of uh, visitors each year. Uh, the, 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 the statistics change a little bit with the COVID effect, but uh, we are one of the 10 first uh, countries visited in the world. And we have to, to really to take care of our nature and our environment, and we really to support this, this, uh, these programs like uh, ecotourism and other type of programs because of the uh, sometimes the endangered effects of uh, of tourism in with the uh, our nature and with our culture uh, please uh, thank you very much for this presentation or listen to me my presentation and i give back the floor to you thank you uh, thank you very much his excellency uh, it was great uh, to listen and to see these uh, wonderful photographs from Mexico.